Hi everyone, thanks for checking this video out. I'm gonna show you how to set up MLA format in Google Docs in this video. Now I have another video that shows you how to do this using a template that they have built in, uh, but I realize that templates aren't necessarily for everybody. The first thing you're gonna to want to do is come up here and change the font. Google Docs is going to default to Arial font and size 11. What you need is Times New Roman and font size 12. So great, now we've got the right font set up, but the layout of the paper still needs some adjusting. What you're gonna to wanna to do is come up to this line spacing button here, hit that, and change it to double. Next, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the document has one inch margins all the way around. To do that, you're gonna to wanna to come up here to the file button and go into the page setup. So here you can see mine is already set to one inch all the way around. Yours might not be, especially if you've changed those settings in the past. Okay, great. So we have double spacing set up. We have Times New Roman. We have font size 12, and we have one inch margins all the way around. What we're missing is a header. To edit the header in a Google Doc, you just need to double click this top inch of the document. And great, now I'm in the header. And MLA wants you to do right aligned and put your last name and the page number. So I type my last name, I hit space, and then I'm gonna come up to this insert tab, come down to header and page number, highlight over page number, and click this top left option, which will put a page number on every page of the document. So one thing you can notice here is the header is not using the Times New Roman font. So while you're in the header, hit Command A or Control A, depending if you're on Windows or Mac, and change that font to Times New Roman and font size 12. Great, so our header is set up now, that's all we need, and we click back down here in the bottom part of the document. For MLA format, you're gonna wanna put your name, hit enter, your professor's name, the name of the class, and the date written in the small to large format meaning date, month, year. So I hit enter and now I'm down below the header of my paper and I need to center a line. So I'll click this guy up here and I wanna put the title of my paper here. I hit enter again, and now I need to left align. Here is where the content of my paper is going to go. So I'll do a little bit of movie magic here, and it'll just appear. Oh, great. Looks like my movie magic still works. So now that I've got the content of my paper, and you can see my last name and the page number are up here in the header on each page, what I need to do is put all my awesome sources in here. So to do that, I need to put a works cited page which means I need a new page at the end of my document. So to do that, you can hit Command Enter or Control Enter if you're on a Windows machine, or you can say Insert, Break, and Page Break. Great, I'm on a new page here, and now I need to center a line and put the title of my Works Cited page, which is very cleverly named Works Cited. So I hit Enter, and now I need to left align and here's the tricky part, because I need to set this up with a hanging indent, meaning that the first line of each source I put is not indented, but the following lines of it are indented one half inch. To do that, you're gonna to wanna to come up to Format, Align and Indent, and then come to Indentation Options. Now you can see there's this drop down here under Special Indent, and I wanna select Hanging. And I'm gonna leave it at one half inch because that is the MLA standard. So if I hit apply, you can see that this little doohickey up here has slid over a half of an inch. So if I were to paste a source in here, again, using a little bit of movie magic, ha, still got it. You can see it kept the half inch indentation here that's hanging so the first line is not indented and the following lines are. I know college is difficult, and writing your paper is difficult enough, and the last thing you need to worry about is formatting it. So hopefully this video helped you. 
Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I usually get to those pretty quickly. Thank you.